freaking hunt. What's up, gang? How you guys doing? How you guys feeling? Who all in the building? It's your girl, Rara Butterfly. Hello, ha, 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 ha. How you guys doing? Click in, tune in, get in where you fit in. Verb, y'all know what time it is. If the message resonates for you guys, go ahead and hit the like, comment, subscribe button. If you want a personal reading, use the description box down below. And what's up? Oops, excuse me, y'all. I've been drinking that goddamn Dr. Pepper. <laughs> okay. That god darn, god darn Dr. Pepper. How y'all doing? It's Friday. Good Friday on top of that, Virgo. Looking good. Smelling good. Okay, I know you F good, but we ain't even gonna get to all that. Okay? Because word around town, Virg, is somebody wanted you to have a slice of humble pie. Humble pie, Virgo. And I feel like what was so crazy to them, because they served up the best cherry dish, peach, peach pie, humble slice that they could give you, Virg. And you said, I want another slice. Now they calling you greedy. Now they calling you poor. You must just be hungry. No weight on your bones, Virg. That's just word around town. Okay, now who am I, little old me, to be saying anything about anybody's tea? But Virg, since everybody loves to gossip, everybody loves to rhyme, Everybody loves to create these stories and the narratives over. Get your popcorn. Yeah. Sip your coffee. Yeah. Go grab that drinkity drink. Go grab your whatever you need. And Virg, have a seat and let's get into it because I'm telling you, it's only one in original and they know it. The higher ups, you, this person, everybody. Yeah, they can feel it in the air. They feel it in their bones. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm hearing that thug, thug, uh, thug bone and harmony, Virgo. Yeah. It was three. They was looking for the fourth. You turned down the offer. Now they mad. Somebody thought they was like the craft. Now, I'm not being funny, Virgo. All jokes aside, I'm being dead ass. This is the energy that's channeling and it's coming out. Take it how you want to. This is not a jab at nobody. This is not a stab at nobody. This is just what the energy is. Okay, Virg. <laughs> Another bird. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's coming out like gas, Virgo. Something don't sit on you. It don't work on you. It just It simply just travels through you. Okay, even if something give you the bubble guts, even if something make you tired, even if something give you a bunch of energy, it's like it don't have that effect that somebody is looking for. Okay, so it takes me to that message. And like I said just a minute ago about the three, they wanted you to be the fourth. You turned down the offer. I feel like they didn't found a little fit in or so they think. Okay. I feel like somebody feel like they found a Rosetta Stone. Like, oh, let me come teach you. Come learn. But, baby, somebody like, um, I'm Rosetta Stone. Like, do you want to learn how to speak another language? Like, what's going on here, buddy? Okay. So, <laughs> the storyline is actually really crazy here today. But I'm just going to keep it rocking for you. Because, like I said, Berg, this is the energy for the message. Okay. But um, what I was getting for you guys is that Virgo, uh, I just feel like somebody here, they really don't, I don't know. They really have never lost sleep over anything or anybody, okay? They're, they're, they're used to kind of getting away with things or they're used to kind of having their way with things or having their way with people. Even if this is somebody that's a heartbreaker, male or female, like they kind of don't realize the damage that they cause in people's lives. Now, this could be how you look at a situation or how uh, this person, you know, deems you whichever way it goes here, Virgo. But I feel like somebody is kind of like, you know, 
I don't know, they're very much so in a crossroads here, Virg, because as much as you don't remind them of anybody that they have ever met before, you remind them of all the things that has went wrong in their life, or you remind them, you know, there's certain characteristics or there's certain things that you say that remind them of a person maybe that they have heartbroken or remind them of a person that they've done dirty or remind them of a person that they feel like has done them wrong, done them dirty, whichever way you want to say it, that's just the energy that i'm picking up on here okay virgo so i feel like somebody is definitely in this crossroads because they don't understand why do i feel this way even if this is somebody virg let's say that really they don't like you they ain't never probably had a real reason not to like you but this person you know they don't like you they don't like the way you move they don't like the way you do something whatever this may be and all of a sudden virg it's like they just have this this change of feelings to where now they kind of like, well, maybe I do like that person. It's almost like, you know, um, you we all have seen certain movies where it's like two two women, right? And they like, I don't want to work with that bitch. I ain't going to work with you. And then they end up, you know, working with each other. At first, it's very catty. And then they seem to get along, okay? Now, Berg, that could have been the idea that somebody had for you guys. But I feel like, Berg, it's almost like I'm picking this energy on the fuck you. That's why somebody is losing sleep here. Because they're used to being able to create that narrative or stare the pot. They're used to getting things going their way. They're used to people having to prove some type of point to them. And I just feel like, Virgo, you feel like, who the fuck are you? Prove it to me. Like, I've, I've done what I need to do. I'm here. We in the same room. We in the same building. Definitely feel this energy, Virgo, where somebody was trying to get this, you know, push and pull. Or trying to get this feedback. Or trying to get this energy back where it's really not being received for some of you guys okay now for others of you guys before we hit these cards for i was picking up an energy where you know i don't know it's kind of like a light switch even if you've been with somebody for 10 years 20, 20 years 10 months 20 months uh two years two days whatever right Bird? if you was if you really had interest in somebody i feel like all of a sudden Bird, you kind of feel this repulsive energy towards somebody it was almost like your energy was pulling towards somebody and all of a sudden you feel repulsed by this person. You like, uh, no thanks. I don't know. It's like maybe the way that they brush their teeth, maybe the way that they live in the ha live their life or something that they're doing in the house. Okay. I feel like, you know, maybe somebody lost themselves. They gained a bunch of weight or, you know, somebody here, they lost their job and they just couldn't get over it. Or somebody here, they went through COVID and it's like they still living on the couch. It's kind of like you just have this repulsive energy towards somebody. Even if you used to like this person or you used to have, you know, be, you know, supportive of this person. I just feel like you kind of done with it. Now, of course, Virgo, if that's not true, you, this could be how somebody feels about you but i also feel like bird whatever somebody is doing i'm getting like a reca uh, reca uh, recalibration here okay virgo like so especially when it comes to somebody's occupation so somebody has to recalibrate somebody has to readjust this is not something easy but from the outside looking in it kind of looks like somebody is just being lazy or it looks like somebody's not doing anything okay now the other message that i got for you guys that i wanted to make sure that you guys had y'all can't probably even see me my bad bird that um i wanted to make sure that you guys had hold on y'all <laughs> Is that Virgo, um, I feel like somebody was expecting you to be like some type of, um, how do I say this? Like a, a prima donna or somebody was expecting you to be like some type of, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say high priestess, okay, but it, it's giving like empress or like this queen or i'm really picking more so of not even a queen it's giving more so of like sugar mama energy or um baby mama energy or um how do i say this hold on bird if i did that right i don't even know why i did that or um i don't know it could even be like a wifey type of energy right verb but where whatever somebody was um 
kind of trying to force into some type of position or force into some type of recognition with you or force some type of contract or force some type of setback, force whatever. I just feel like, Bert, it doesn't go as planned at all, okay? So that could be another reason why somebody is losing sleep because they like, damn, like, I thought Virgo was going to be A, B, and C. Why is Virgo giving me this type of behavior? Or I thought Virgo was going to be an easy catch. I thought Virgo was going to be an easy target. I thought Virgo was the person we should take down. Like, what, what's going on here? So now somebody is really realizing, like, okay. Okay. But I'm getting from the outside looking in. Now, the crazy thing is, y'all cannot let this go. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. Because it's crooked. It's really crooked. Let me see. Sorry, y'all, Berg. I know y'all don't like it, but who cares? I care, but I don't care for the complainers and the haters, okay? If that's what break you, if that's what really make or break your day, probably should go on ahead and stay away anyway <clears throat> now let's steal motherfucking crooked Try that. okay so y'all can see me better anyway and we get a little view of the cards better so um yeah Berg, i just feel like this person here that she was dealing with they really they really was bullshit from the beginning okay but the fa the fact is is that bird you weren't as easy to conquer as they really thought okay point blank period i'm really hearing gemini or i'm hearing taurus it could be a leo or a libra okay I'm also getting something about the a devil in the blue dress here, Virgo, or the devil wears Prada, okay? Somebody could be wearing the color blue. Or Virgo, you could have had the color blue on yesterday. I'm also picking up that, Virgo, people are going to start realizing, like, it's almost like you're, like, people who are really tapped in and tuned in, they can see like your energy being drained, okay? And the more that they see your energy being drained, they can see this other person. It's almost like morphing into your energy, okay? It's very weird, very, I'm hearing crypto or crypto or this is very like, <laughs> of course, like some energy type shit, okay? Somebody could have grown up watching like the Big Bang Theory or somebody could have grew up watching or somebody could be watching like the Young Sheldon or somebody could like to watch, you know, um, documentaries about uh, science, about space, about energy. OK, or somebody's definitely into sci fi. OK. Somebody name could be like, I don't know, I'm hearing like Bill or sci fi or siphon. Or somebody could, you know, be a truck driver. I'm getting something about a siphon, okay? A siphon truck here. But I'm also getting, yeah, like, I feel like you've really cleansed your energy here. Somebody is having a very hard time sleeping or somebody's having a hard time being able to tap back into your energy or tune back into what you got going. I feel like even if somebody kind of throw you off for a little bit, you get back on track, okay? I feel like somebody else, whoever is doing this, I'm also getting Virgo that they like brag about it. So if you really listen to what somebody's saying or you really take a closer look, you see exactly what somebody doing. Okay, now this is somebody also Virgo, even if it's not you, like you may not see it, other people see it. Okay, especially this fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, I feel like they can see it very clearly. Like, okay, I see everybody plotting against this person. I see all y'all, you know, trying to team up on this person. Or I see these four individuals or three individuals or these four different groups or one person from every element. Like, somebody can see it. But very clever person because, Virgo, the way that they play in the game here is what I'm getting is that they kind of like on some, okay, yeah, 
I, oh, 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 they're playing very, they're playing very gullible. They're playing very naive. They're playing the weaker link here. They're like, you want me to come over and, and do witchcraft with you? Okay. Oh, y'all don't like so-and-so? Oh, why not? Oh, you want me to be mean to them? Okay. Like, but somebody is definitely not doing what these people think. Okay, so they're starting to say like, yeah, bitch, you're not as gifted as you think. <laughs> yeah, bitch, right up underneath your nose. Because I feel like somebody has been constantly doing this to you, Virgo. Like, they're like, look, Virgo, we're right up under your nose. We're fucking with you. Want to wanna see how far you can go? Want to see? Thank you guys for the super chat. Want to see how far we can make you whatever, whatever. Look, Virgo, look, Virgo. It's like somebody really wants your secrets to come out or they want to, you know, pretty much provoke you into telling your own secrets. Okay, but I feel like Berg, in the meantime, that's kind of what happens to them. Okay, I feel like somebody is seeing the plot. Somebody is not falling for the trap. So, therefore, the secret is coming out about, about them, about what's going on here. They don't like this shit. Okay, but this is what somebody is saying. Like, yeah, you thought you were, you thought you was one up at me or you thought you were tricking me or you thought i was a weak link or you maybe you didn't think i was that cold because i feel like you could be very thin or very tiny or you could even be very young like 19 20 years old or at least that's how you come off so you know they they came into the situation thinking like oh yeah we can we can you know pretty much manipulate this person okay but it was all about like, you know, stealing people talents, stealing people gifts, stealing ranks, okay? It was also like these people wanted to be like, I wouldn't say bullies, but I'm hearing internet bullies or internet thugs. Like these are people who met online and became friends and they think they're like in the fucking sorcery here, Berg. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, I hate to even get this motherfucking sci-fi with y'all, but this is what it is, okay? But it's like, these folks met on the internet, and they're linking up, and like, they think they, they really like the craft. Like, I can't make it up. This is why a lot of people do not need to smoke weed and, and motherfucking watch TV and start playing with magic, getting on TikTok and shit, because backfire, backfire, backfire. Now they motherfucking around looking crazy because you didn't got yourself caught up into this shit for life, forever. For lifers, all that. Been a long time since we had to hit them with the gang signs, Berg. Like, come on now. We don't even know nothing about it, but we get down. <laughs> like, call it lame, call it whatever. But one thing about it, Berg, it's stuffed down, okay? No matter what you throwing up, we gonna throw it back. You come around here playing, you gonna fuck around and find out. They hate that, Virgo. They hate that. They really do. Because it's like, you really do show grace to people. You really are sweet. You really are humble. So that's why you gonna come back and ask for another slice of the humble pie. Point blank, period. Okay? Somebody could live on like Brick Road or Brick Avenue. Okay? Or like Brick Town. Somebody just do not understand why you keep bouncing back or how you keep bouncing back or what's your, what's your, you know, um, they don't know how to, how to, I don't know, maybe even connect something to you, connect the dots, or they're trying to wonder, Virgo, as well, how did you connect these dots, okay? They could be trying to wonder, hold on, y'all. They could be trying to wonder, uh, Virgo, Virgo, um, how you figure something out, okay? Now, you could have somebody over here treading water or walking on a very thin line. Ooh, goddamn, I'm just messing stuff up. My bad, y'all. Yeah, you got somebody over here treading water or walking on a very thin line because um, they could be trying to figure out how much do you really know, okay? For some of you guys, it's like how much have you told that got this, this person kind of shook up. They like, damn. What if they said A, B, and C? It's kind of almost as if, you know, maybe the cover is being blown or whatever, okay? 
Now, for some of you guys, I feel like somebody was trying to really almost keep you protected. That's why they could have hurried up and tried to pay you off or hurry up and hush you up or hurry up and give you what you want. That could have been something that made you feel a certain type of way. You felt like this person was manipulating the situation. But I feel like, Berg, at the end of the day, what somebody really was trying to do was, you know, save, save you from being involved in something or save somebody from being involved. It could be a child. Okay, I'm also getting something about twins here or a set of two. So it could be two kids or, you know, you and your kid. Male or female. So, but, Berg, I'm also getting that everybody is connected in this situation. And somebody is starting to see that even though you might have seen this a long time ago, like you peaked game a whole long time ago. Especially when you touch hands with somebody, Virgo. But for a lot of you guys, you ain't even got to touch hands with people. You can read the room from... We already talked about this, Virgo. You can always read the room, read the energy. Somebody could like to drink Bud Miller. Or somebody's last name could be like Miller or Mycin or Mitris. I'm also getting that energy again, Virgo, where, like, somebody just, like, ugh, everything they do, it just rub you the wrong fucking way, okay? It's crazy because I feel like, Virgo, for some of you guys, you know, it's things about this person that you used to love or you used to be like, oh, my gosh, like, yes, he's so fine, daddy. And then all of a sudden it goes into this energy like that same shit just really turns you the fuck off. I feel like because now you know that somebody's a fucking liar. I'm also getting that Virgo, it's not even just about them being a fucking liar. It's cool. It, it was almost like you like, okay, cool. Like, you know what? I understand that you, you know, you got your boundaries or I understand that's your past or I understand like, I'm gonna give you this benefit of the doubt. I understand, like, Virgo, you always being fucking understanding. <laughs> yeah, we know. But, Virgo, somebody here was stretching the truth any fucking way. So, I also feel like, Virgo, they kind of, like, you know, they forced your hand. Or, Virgo, you know you're gonna have your assumptions. You're gonna have your doubts. Or, you, you starting to figure shit out for yourself. For others of you guys, Virgo, things always just fall in your lap. Even if you roll with the flow, you roll with the punches, here it is. Like, things come to you, the news, downloads, whatever this is, right? So, I feel like Virgo, in some type of shape, some type of way, some type of form here, um, I don't know, Virgo, I just feel like you kept it real with somebody, even if it might have, you know, like, damn, I, I look like I'm being nosy or I look like I'm doing too much or I look like I'm bullying or I look like I'm being an asshole. I look like whatever. But at the end of the day, like, you really kept it real. No secrets. Now this person ain't concerned because I feel like, Berg, they got a bunch of motherfucking secrets. They like, well, damn, how much do Virgo know? How much do Virgo, you know, how much do Virgo really see or how much do Virgo find out? Like somebody in here, I'm hearing without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> okay. It's 2 a.m. and then then found to check my message. No one is called but some homies and some bill collectors. So yeah. And I two way her. Yeah. Somebody's name could be Verona or Veronica, okay, or Vison, Vison, Venen. Or someone can live there, okay, or Vienna, Vermont, Vietnam, okay. Somebody could have also, you know, uh, been in the military or this is somebody with like a military mind, a military background.
Yeah, I feel like Virgo, somebody was trying to see how, you know, how how deep your mind runs, how strong you are, are you built for it? Like, baby, ain't nobody signing up to be in the motherfucking Navy and Army when we come over here reading cards. Ain't nobody signing up to do anything. Like, when you really have a gift, we actually run from any of that. So if you ain't the school of X, and, and if you ain't, you know, power X and with the X-Men and stuff, I don't even understand what you're talking about because what university do you have? What degrees are you giving? What can you give me other than take away? Because I feel like, Virgo, that's what this trickery or this fool or whoever this is, this little pocket muncher, this pocket watcher, whatever this is, this energy just, yeah, yeah, yeah. why they say that you're, yeah, 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 that's really them. They don't understand it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, Virgo? Somebody could be from Utah. I feel like Berg also somebody keeps saying like they're from Texas or they're from Atlanta, Georgia, or they're from Memphis. They're from they're from all these different places. They not. They won't even claim their home state. Let alone their birthday. Okay, because I feel like, you know, somebody just don't know who the hell they dealing with. This is very dark mind, confused individual, male or female. Because it could be a female that's attached to this dark and confused masculine. And they got them so motherfucking down the rabbit hole and down the Looney Tune bin. Baby, you don't even know where the hell it begins. They over here, we're one. We're one. Okay, well, yo, one keep telling you that one plus one is three. And we over here telling you one plus one is two. So, yeah, I don't know who this is born in 1998. They talking about they was born in 1992, Virgo. That's a whole motherfucking lie. Big difference. Big difference. You got to start questioning it like, why would somebody be doing this? Why, why are you lying about your age? Why are you lying about your birthday? Why are you lying about your job? Why are you lying about... All this stuff, like, verb, because somebody is trying to morph. Somebody is trying to steal. Somebody is trying to con. Somebody is trying to scheme. And I'm telling you, Virgo, it was all a dream to them because we don't know who sold them that lie. I don't know them two people that went and whispered in Buddy's ear and told them that, oh, go over here, go on over there with that Virgo, get down to the bottom of the bottom of it with that Virgo and take them for everything they got. Virgo, they, they played them. <laughs> they schemed them 22 could be significant okay somebody could be seeing 99 or 22 okay 520 could be significant for some of you guys as well okay or 522 could be significant here virgo yeah somebody ain't seeing things clearly they refuse to see it okay they refuse to believe something somebody ain't been around long enough they ain't experienced enough in life virgo Okay, even if you was born in 92, 90, whatever, I feel like you done been through some things. <laughs> you done been through some things, okay? You done been through some things. Because you understand, like, I'm going to tell you how I know you've been through some things, Virgo. Because you'd rather be alone than force yourself into false uh, relationships and false storylines and around bullshit people. You'll go with, like, y'all just say what, whatever. Say what you want about me. Think how you want about me. Like, you're not afraid to travel by yourself in the dark with a nightlight. Like, come on now. I feel like, Virgo, you're going to always find balance here. No matter what life throws your way. Okay? And it's because the, the things that you have been through in life, like, real people see this in you and they respect it, male or female. Okay, so you got to understand that there are people in the world that can see that in you and they want that. They want to take that. They want, you know, they want the life. They want the luxury. And see, this is what uh, I kept forgetting to tell you guys earlier about um, what Spirit was telling me, Virgo, when it comes to uh, somebody looking for an empress or a queen. Okay, well, if you a queen, I mean, if you a king or emperor, then the you ain't got to go look for the king or the queen. I mean, you ain't got to go look for the uh, queen or the empress. They bring it to you. But you may fall in love with just an ordinary person. You may start changing up the game 
to marry who you want to marry. But ain't no looking for no whatever. Nah, bring the picture. Do yes or no. Set up the ball. Bring them in. Make a choice. If it ain't a ring, because that's emperor and king energy. So what you mean somebody thought they found a queen and they got tricked? Baby, please. It wasn't no trick. Somebody just bought the dream that they were selling. It got sold back to them. That's how it go. That's how it works. Somebody name could be Emily. Okay, that's how it goes. That's how it works. You just keep on finding balance. You just keep on rejuvenating here. You just keep on making it work. I feel like Berg, somebody just, child, they need to get over it. They need to let it go. They need to find a new way to, they need to define somebody new to focus on because they're going to continue losing sleep. They ain't never lost sleep before Berg. They losing their sleep today. I feel like Virgo coming across you, it fucked around and made this person think about all the bad shit they didn't did to everybody. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, is this karma? They kept thinking you was going to have karma, but they keep saying you have success. Okay? It don't make sense to them. Excuse me, y'all. It don't make sense to them. They like, what's going on? And all of a sudden, child, here they go. Here they go. And over, we can't even make this up. Somebody over here, they can't, they, 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 they thought this shit was fun and games, but here they go. They met somebody, Bird. They met a man. Somebody's man could name could start with the letter A, or I'm hearing like Mandy, or you know, this is a man, man, or a man of God. So I feel like he like, I already let you be doing the tarot, or I already let you do whatever with your friends and your homegirls, but burning candles and burning pictures, that's where we draw the line. Okay. Baby, they about to shut this down. Now they embarrassed in front of this man. Now they embarrassed. <laughs> okay, don't be embarrassed now. They trying to explain. No, I do this for guidance. I do this for resolution. They like, hell no. I know witchcraft when the fuck I see it. I see what you doing to somebody. See, somebody done caught on. Somebody see it now. They like, hell to the motherfuck. All the way to the motherfuck. Fuck no, fuck no. Out of here, buddy. Excuse my French, but that's just how it's coming. That's what it is. Okay, so my name could be Alexander. Okay, baby Virgo, somebody could have a whole shrine. A whole Virgo shrine or a whole Virgo page dedicated to you. A whole, just just a whole everything, Virgo. Like this person just, damn near should be worshiping the ground that they walk, that you walk on the way that they worship, you know, worship something here. I don't know if they trying to worship your demise or what. But at the end of the day, baby, when I tell you that it got them, <laughs> it got them in a motherfucking frenzy, it got them losing sleep because it's not working, because you keep on having healing. I'm also getting that Virgo, the flip way of looking at this whole situation is that Virgo, even though somebody trying to destroy you, even though they doing that magic, that weird shit, whatever, okay, it ain't up for everybody to believe, okay, or this could just be somebody that's really fantasizing about you, that's googly eyes about you, Virg. it could be a, dis, a disgruntled employee, or just a disgruntled neighbor, a disgruntled somebody, okay, Virgo, so, um, Excuse, damn, y'all, I'm burping like cray cray. Excuse me. You could be meeting somebody, though, Virgo, that no matter what, guess what? When your wall against the back, I got you. I might talk my shit. I might be, you know, I might be a little tough on you. But look, we gonna work through it. So the manipulation and the magic ain't working. Okay. Now, others of you guys, Virgo, if this is a cuckoo crazy person stalking you, Baby, ain't no mountain high or low. They trying to find you in every way, every form. But the fact that you keep on healing, you're getting your rest, you taking accountability, you 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 going more towards resolution and solution than uh, conflict here and problem. Virgo, they having a hard time tap, tap, tapping in. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, these cockroaches are scattering per usual. And let me tell you, all that damn candle work that somebody be doing and light, well, whatever this is, baby, that house, somebody house going to burn down. It's going to burn down and they ain't got no insurance. So I don't even know why you would be playing with magic and candles and you don't have insurance doing this in your house or your car and you don't have insurance. 
on either or. Okay, I'm yeah. just saying that's a deadly game to be playing, baby. You ain't even got no insurance. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Somebody's name could be Tracy. I'm also hearing like Tiana. Okay. I'm also getting that Virgo. Somebody really wanted you to stay in a lane, stay in a position, okay? Stay on the same road, okay? Just keep traveling back and forth, getting nowhere type of energy. But Virgo was like, I mean, not Virgo, God. It's like, but I'm, I'm, I have my hand on that road. I'm going to create a shift. I'm going to create a change, okay? So I feel like no contact, Virg. Like you really going all the way in, no contact. I feel like Virgo, you know, you could be doing something cold turkey, okay? Or you just getting up like, you know what? Communication is cut. I'm over it. I'm moving on because Virg, you're starting to see your value. And the more these folks try to, you know, play with you, the more they giving you all this attention, whether it's negative or not, Virg. I feel like it's giving you that motherfucking, okay, I must be a value. Whether you hate me or you love me, I must be a value. Real empress energy. Don't nobody got to tell you that you an empress, okay? So I feel like somebody loves to say a lot or they have these little sayings, I don't lose no sleep over sheep. But I feel like, Virg, in reality, that's what you do. They hear what you say, they repeat it because it sounds good, but they could never even, <laughs> they can't walk on that lane, drive in that lane. They don't have no, they don't have no control over the speed zone. That's why they got to control it with this. A root? Yeah, Wendy Pooh. Scooby Doo. <laughs> you heard us. <laughs> you heard it real loud. You heard it real loud and clear. They know what time it is. And they telling folks exactly what they doing, Bird. And they think that's taking their value up. They think that's taking the stock up. Like, this is people that praise other people downfall and demise, but call themselves spiritual and leaders. Call themselves, ooh, higher ups. Okay, well, just remember what contract you sold your soul for. Everything you say, they think it's a jab at them. Everything that, that you, you want to know how these folks ain't got no real guidance and they ain't learn shit on their journey. Because they think their journey is about guiding you on some shit they don't even understand what they've been through. How you trying to force somebody into submission? How you trying to force somebody into a contract? How you trying to force somebody to see their value? It don't work that way. Why you mad because somebody don't want to be your friend? Why you mad because somebody don't, don't want to talk to you? Why you mad because somebody don't want to build with you, but you're vibing so motherfucking high? Okay, how you vibing high and throwing evil eyes? Just make it make sense since we so into rhyming these days, right? It's the new culture. It's the new thing to do. Why they mad? Because people desire you. Why they got to walk around butt-ass naked? Why they got to walk around in $50 clothes <laughs> and $500 worth of nails but stressed about your bills and don't know how their kids going to eat tomorrow? We just trying to figure it out, Virgo. Okay. Because it always be the ones with them white fingertips, white toenails, and them nails with all the crafty dafties on them that just be like, ugh, I don't like attention. But why are you doing it? Are you doing it for them or do you do it for you? Because all of us know how good it feel when your nails free, them lashes can breathe, that bra come off, them titties can hang, that coochie can breathe. We all know for real, for real how it feel. <laughs> Don't nobody want to be on no A, B, and C times three. But they so mad about it. They think you self-absorbed because the, the attention is on you because you get the spotlight. 
They think you self-absorbed because people desire you. You can't help who the, cho who the crowd chooses as the goat. And that's why I said, this is somebody that's like, we don't lose sleep over sheep. Okay, well, good thing, because I'm a goat, baby. That's what Virgo is saying. Good thing, <laughs> good thing, because, baby, you ain't, even, <laughs> you ain't even on the level that we on anyway. We ain't got the same value, okay? You better go on over to where it's a delicacy because over here, we want the goat meat. We don't want the sheep brain. It's a difference. But it's value in all of it. And see, somebody needs to understand their value while they're worried about yours. When they understand their value, they'll be able to follow with their little crowd with the sheep instead of being worried about with the goat. And then when somebody comes stroke you up, when you get lost, when that uh, cheetah come out and eat you up, Baby, don't be blaming that goat. Whoa, well, look, you got the goat. Oh, my goodness. And a cheetah came and got me, baby, please. Virgo, these folks don't know who they are. That's why they want you to contemplate who you are. They want you to contemplate your, your uh, destiny. They want you to contemplate your, uh, f uh, your palm lines and your birth chart and your zodiac this and all of that. They want you to even expose that to them. That's why they keep hollering out, I'm a this and I'm a that. They ain't that. They think you just dumb enough to tell them what the fuck you are because they can't figure it out. They slow asses. It's so easy, but a lot of them poor. They they spend their money on they poor minded. Excuse me, Bird. Why they try to strip you from everything? They a lot of these folks. They wouldn't even go spend five dollars to really do the background check on you. They ain't even got five dollars to do the background check on you because every time they got five dollars, they go get them nails done. They go get that haircut. They go pop them bottles. They go do something here, child, where it don't make no sense. Then when they want to do the research, they can't do it so they just gotta look on what google gives them they ain't getting shit they don't know what time you was born they don't know what you really got going they want you to show your house they want you to show your face they want you to give them the recipe but you done tell them to keep using the videos from two years ago keep using the knowledge you gave them three years ago keep using the money they stole from you five years ago keep on because at the end of the day virgo this shit is almost laughable at this point that's why you sleeping good and they not. They assuming you ain't sleeping. But the fact of the fact is you, you, you're doing a lot of it. Resting very well. Which one is it? Are you lazy and laid up all day, Bert? Are you stuck all day, Bert? It's like how you making a way if, if, they, if you're doing what they say. How you even in, you know, why are you relevant? That's why I feel like, Virg, this energy, why you repulsed. You're repulsed with it because it's like, baby, please. Not even on my worst day. They be thinking everything you say is about them. They got to contemplate every decision they make is yes or no. Should I do it? What is, are people going to look at me like the Virgo? Like, that's a hell, that's a crazy life to live to me. And then they wonder why they don't have no intimacy in their relationship. They wonder why that man don't want them because they sit here seeing you doing all this weird shit. If I was your man, woman, whoever, I'd be scared of your ass too. Like, hell no, motherfucker. Really crazy. Okay. <laughs> Look, stay away from me, Tommy. Tommy, stay over there. They be so proud to have them a man, have them a woman. Okay, folks be around here, you just being with people so they can make it rain, so they can get some money, so they can stack it up. Okay, a lot of these folks, they do things just for the money. It be, it, it's cool and fun, it's fine and dandy when that money rolling in. But all of a sudden, that communication cut off. All of a sudden, them bills can't be paid. All of a sudden, that high value start looking cray-cray. Because let me tell you, high value, baby, it's, it's in you, not on you. So, look, you could be looking a hot mess. I ain't really got shit. I'm looking over here like, uh, what was the movie called? Uh, what was her name? Um, and we ain't condoning the energy, but this is just how big the, bang, the Big Bang Theory is going today. Okay, um... What was that? What was pretty little? No, not pretty little thing. What 
what was this movie called? Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. When she was the uh, little, the little prosy on the street. And the million dollar man came and fell in love with her anyway. So yeah, Berg, I feel like you ain't gotta, you could be anything on the street, a bum, a crack, uh, whatever. You get what I'm saying? Baby, folks gonna still see the value. And you know, it's even more embarrassing. It's even more ashamed that y'all sitting here calling this person a, a, a nothing ass nothing because your man sure want this person. Your man, somebody man, somebody, somebody, somebody spending some dollars on this. On a, on a, on a, uh, uh, a seed out prosy. <laughs> it's the laugh for me. It's the embarrassment for them. Yeah, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, we know you broken on the inside. We know it's giving very miserable. Why doesn't Peter and Frank want to touch me anymore? Baby, I wouldn't want to touch your ass either. Okay, that's a damn shame. When your person want to go touch a, 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 something on the street, then touch you. Okay. And it's crazy because this person really was faithful. This person really was trying to do the biz. You know what I'm saying? Like, this wasn't no man that just go out and do anything crazy. But this just a man who fell in love with somebody that ain't that ain't pretending, ain't lying, that ain't doing motherfucking spell work to catch a motherfucker. Because you know what this man thinking? If you doing all that spell work on that person on the internet that you don't even know, or if you do all this uh, spell work for money, how the hell do I not know you was doing this spell work on me? Now they questioning reality, okay? Up until you, they didn't even figure it out. But now they starting to see it because they like, hold on. That person is beautiful. Hold on. That person don't be doing nothing. Hold on. That person sound like you. And they like, no, we're going to take that bitch down all the way down to market town, all the way down to hell and pits and back and jail and back. And like, baby, they had big plans. That man said, I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. That really got baby going cuckoo. It got baby girl going real cuckoo. It got her going cuckoo for Cocoa Puss. Cocoa Puss. It got her going bad shit crazy. <laughs> okay. Bad shit crazy. All this snooping and driving by and social media stalking, doing terror readings. Just a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of waste of time. Okay. With they cat and all. Okay, they, they really think they a witch. They went and got them a cat. They don't even like cats. Damn, they're allergic to cats. How the fuck you allergic to cats? <clears throat> That's why they always... <clears throat> <clears throat> My ear is itching. My throat is itching. Looking, motherfucker. Yeah, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. I'm just telling you, these folks, they, they wasted their time with this, Virgo. They really did. <laughs> they thought that linking up was going to buy them some type of time, some type of favor. Okay, they think you linking up with somebody, Berg. They about to take them down. You ain't even talk to this person. You don't even know this person. Okay, that's why you got to watch it because I feel like, Berg, this folk, they waiting for you to say something about your life, about your home. They looking for any way in, any road in into some type of necessary or some type of necessary avenue or loop to get to you. But, Virgo, everything is going to lead them back to the road that they're in, denial. They're going to keep traveling down the same damn road over and over and over. Somebody's name could be Samira or Samira, Shamisha. Satia or Shatira. Okay. I'm also hearing Sammy or Sandra, Sierra. Yeah, somebody is very obsessed with you. They don't even want to believe it, but it's the truth. They get the they they go on dates with these folks first and they start fantasizing and thinking about you. Somebody's name could be Rebecca. I'm also getting the arts for <laughs> Tarted. Okay. The R is for tarted. <laughs> no lie. Because Virgo, this person, they 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 start fantasizing about you. They start thinking, what would you think? They start thinking that, oh yeah, can Virgo mess this up? They don't even realize they got somebody good in front of them that's not even looking up, they not even really paying attention. 
okay? All they thinking about is some, some bum ass shit, okay? Because Virgo, obviously you're a bum. You have nothing going on for yourself. You don't eat, you, you, you can't cook, you can't clean, you're a sorry ass, old washed up ass, grandpa ass, stuck in old dick around town, mf -er. Okay, that's what they say. That's what they say. And this, even they person that they dealing with, that's what they got going on. And they still want to X this mf -er up. So they saying all this about everybody around town. And the people that they talk the most shit about don't even want their asses. Well, let's just keep it real here. Yeah, because all they do is think about you. All they do is snoop all damn day and try to take you out and make sure nobody has any contact and make sure this, even if this is an employee that's disengruntled, right? This somebody that go all out their way to make sure that somebody can't get a room, can't get a meal, can't get this. But let that happen to their kids. Let that happen to them. They're going to go on and on and on. Well, I know the owner of da 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 da, -da and I'm the manager of Piggly Wiggly down here in, in Timbuktu. Okay, good for you. That's why somebody like, I didn't lost my job over your raggedy ass, all your witch work and snooping and lying and investigating and accusing. Okay, I don't want nothing else to do with you. You, the kids, the cat, the dog, none of y'all. They ready to be an ex. <laughs> Virgo, that's why a lot of y'all, you need to be happy you're single. Because the way all this shit playing out and playing out for a lot of these little crumb, uh, crumb feeders that accept anything, that try to snatch everything away from everybody else. Baby, the way they going through it, why they bragging about these relationships, bragging about that spell work they've been doing. Baby, the way that's that backfire going to happen, I'd love to see you brag about that. Put that on the internet. Brag about that. We want to hear about it. We love it. We ready to get our drinkity drinks and sip our TDTs. Yes, our hot toddies, baby. We're ready. We're naughty. We're on the prowl, Virgo. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. We want to see, we'd like to see me and all my Virgo friends. We would. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, unemployed. They wanted you to be unemployed, but fell in love with an unemployed ass man who eat up all their food and snacks. <laughs> they, they wanted you to be by yourself, but fell in love with a man that go eat. Uh, that Panda Express by themselves and won't even offer them a fucking plate. They like, so you ain't gonna offer me nothing? He's not even gonna offer me a bite? He's not gonna even offer me a bite? Can't say nothing to that man, though. You can't say nothing to that man about how them bills can't be paid. You got him laying all up in that bed, but you praying on somebody else not to have no intimacy, not to have no desire, not to have the spotlight. So you forgetting, <laughs> you forgetting what you take it. Is it, it, it goes? It goes? It comes in return. Okay, so that man that you giving that spotlight to, that you trying to take from somebody else, that desire you giving that to, baby. The only thing he giving it to is that plate and the money and that money in his pockets. That's it. That's it. They always worried about somebody's eyes. They always worried about somebody's features. They always worried about somebody's pockets. Need to be worried about what's on them crusty ass, musty ass hands that smell like dick and booty. Need to be worried about getting a book and using their eyes to read that. Need to be worried about a lot of other things than what they worried about. Because trust me, that uncertainty is creating somebody to make bad decisions and choices in life. Okay? I'm just telling y'all because a lot of these folks, Virgo, they've been deserving the cold shoulder. They've they been giving it to you. They've been giving it to other people. And now that they're getting it back from you, Virg, look how stressed. Stressed and depleted. And defeated. Buddy around town looking. Uh-huh. Somebody initials could be AM, SM, DM. Somebody could be on the down low. Okay. But yeah, this whole spiritual attack with the push and pull and all this mind games and ooh, who could it be? Baby, please, we know it's you. 
We ain't got to sit around in the TV and Netflix and chill to figure it out. And I'm so glad because, Virg, the more they play with you, the more they test you, the more they analyze you, and the more they call you immature, and the more they sit back thinking that they're playing this game so poised, as soon as they get done playing the game with you, Virgo, and they go in the room with that man and that family, or they go look at those bills that are unpaid, it ain't no Netflix and chill. Don't nobody want to sit down to them. Lonely ass. I'm so lonely, Mr. Lonely. Virgo, at least if you lonely, baby, you, you ain't crying about it. You ain't crying over what the fuck they think you crying about. Virgo be crying about, oh, God damn. <laughs> Why did I miss the liquor store? Like, how did I, how did I not go to church today? Like, Virgo, you be beating yourself up over a lot of things. And you knew what these people did in between those four walls while they're always judging yours. <laughs> oh, child. You would never feel guilty about it. Yeah, and another thing too, Bert, because I was asking Jesus, I was talking to him, and I said, you know, for real, what what would you tell people today? Like, if you was here today, what would you tell people for real? And he said, to forgive. If that was the only thing he could tell us, it would be to forgive. And I said, okay, I get you on that. But what would you tell people if it could be one thing you really wanted to know, wanted people to know about you. And he told me that he was imperfect. One of the biggest things that was left out was his flaws. And not only was he imperfect, he was a prophet. The praise wasn't meant for him to carry. You get what I'm saying? He was here to spread a word. And a lot of people be like, what does that card mean that says Jesus died for your sins, not mine, or whatever? Jesus died for prophets. Because if it wasn't for us, boy, these witches, oh, well, I'm white light, I'm dark light, I'm a demon, I'm an angel, I'm a Sarah Nara Dara, I'm a Tim Tara Tara, whatever. It's giving very much so the letter T ends with an M because baby... Us of us, those of us that are prophets, we just like, we don't know what this is, but God, we're going to continue doing it. I don't know why you're using me. I don't even know why you decided to choose me. I didn't see myself that worthy. But hey, the more that you start understanding, yeah, I'm that worthy, the more you start confi confirming and confining to who he is wanting you to be. That's why I get so upset when people be like, well, God can't use you if you cussing. But God using you and you judging. Well, God can't use you if you're a drug addict. But God can spare your child that bats the baby. Which one is it? Because a lot of people see you as a Jezebel. But God said, no, you ain't Jezebel. You like the woman who was bleeding. Blind faith, Bert. Not blind trust. There is a difference between faith and trust. I can have faith in you. But I got to trust myself. If you a crackhead, for real, for real, I have faith that you're going to heal. But when you come in my house, I can't trust that you're not going to steal. People want you to believe the narrative that, oh, Virgo. It's one of those things that people want you to believe that they can do it, but you can't. It's okay when I go through it, but Virgo, it's okay when you go through it. The world stops when I go through it, but Virgo, you can handle it. But Virgo, it's nothing for you. It's okay that we bully you, Virgo, but you speak back, Virgo. You should have some pride and some, and some dignity about yourself. You should have some self-decorum and some respect. Hmm. But when you get up on your shit and act a fool, or when you get in your car and turn on that motherfucking sexy red, when your man act up and you get to calling him niggas and pulling out knives and all kind of crazy shit in front of your kids, hmm, are you thinking about the poisonous of the Virgo? I ain't trying to throw no jabs. You get what I'm saying? I'm just saying that a lot of these folks find themselves to be very motherfucking sh uh, remorseful and ashamed. And instead of apologizing, they want you to feel guilty. 
No, because your relationship toxic. Because Virgo didn't move past toxic relationships. They know how to avoid it. They know how to deal with it without running from it. Okay, they know how to go through it. They know how to see it for what it is. They know how to turn it on and turn it off. And somebody else, allow somebody else to click the switch for them. See, Virgo, that's why this shit don't work on you. <laughs> you cannot be controlled. That's why is it faded or jaded here? Is, is the person faded or jaded? Or is somebody just going through spiritual attacks and somebody trying to distract everybody that they can with this bloodline work? This blood magic, very childish. I feel like, Virgo, I'd rather be childish and I'd rather, I'd rather smell than see. I'd rather taste than see. I'd rather feel than see. See, somebody here, they, they childish. They childish. I'm going to go buy me some lingerie sexy panties for Bay today. And Bay don't even show up. Bay don't even want you. Bay so sick of you. In the motherfucking, uh, what is it? I can't even think of it. That shit so motherfucking throwback. Um, what is that bath and body work coming up again? Ugh. Bay said get some YSL. Not the samples. Buy a bottle. The way you be buying up this motherfucking candle wax and pictures and shit. Golly. If you focused on half of yourself the way you doing this to somebody else, I promise you, you would be a cold-ass millionaire. You needs to get on Lifetime. What's her name with that, with that hair? What's her name? Because you keep talking about me looking like a... I look like a... And I look like, hey, Arnold, but baby, your character ain't even been identified yet. So, maybe, you know, you might be <laughs> wishing some things into existence for your girl. <laughs> keep talking your shit, okay? Yeah, because Rolly Poly Holy Holy, something else is telling me them little crumbs in your bed. I don't know if it's bed bugs, bitch, or if it's them crackers that you got to wake up and eat at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, can't get no sleep o'clock. Yes. Wipe all that shit out. <laughs> Ain't never been in the gym a day in your life. Okay, used to, I used to work out in high school, did you? Bitch, you climbed one rope in P.E. in seventh grade. Give it up, okay? Calling people lame and calling people losers. You're a low life. You did nothing with your life at all, okay? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. No awards, no achievements, no nothing. Just baby daddies, baby mamas, and drama, okay? Biggest thing you did on uh, in your life is made something happen on YouTube or Instagram, okay? Bought you a new pair of Jimmy Choo's. Congratulations for you. Because, baby, every time you look in that mirror, you still don't even feel accepted, okay? Life is a fucking roller coaster, especially when it comes to that love life, okay? Because you can't sit down, you can't listen, okay? And you keep on messing with somebody else, trying to send them into situations where they in infatuated and just uh, attracting really what the fuck you have at home that's a sad thing right there that's the bummy thing about it somebody barely pop out but when they do <laughs> it being a bitch face every time yeah take your gift virgo don't forget to hit the like button for your girl yeah that's all they worrying about is your gifts what you're receiving what you getting and wondering why this person at home don't want nothing to do with them. I would not want nothing to do with your funky ass neither. I'm coming home every day. You just sitting up on that YouTube. Uh huh. Look, that bitch. Uh huh. Look, cause she got red. Uh huh. That bitch. Uh, she got. She thinks she getting the gift. She thinks she getting the man. Uh huh. Go over there and go. I want you to go on over there and throw eggs at her in her house and her. Ooh, just can't even believe it. Somebody might not even be fat. They ain't gotta be fat. They, <laughs> they might not be big and stank. They just got a big stank ass, bully ass energy. Okay. And I'm telling you, that man dating somebody else. He is. Or he thinking about the time, like when he used to date you, Virgo. It was such a beautiful, simple thing. They like. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Get used to it, Bianch. Always over here messing with people, calling people ugly, calling people this, calling people that. Baby, you gonna fix that motherfucking craters on your face. 
Okay, whipping up eggs and shit, trying to do all these bastard treatments because you're the bastard child and nobody wants you. I hate to just be mean, but it's just like, damn, you always got something to say about everybody else. Leave folks alone. And it's not even everybody else. Okay, it's like you focus on one person every day. Every day. I'm just so focused every day. But find you something else to do with your life. It's giving just, yeah. The crazy thing is, for. I'm saying this for the reading and somebody going to really take it personal. And that's how you know that you got the one up on them. Because every time I say something, Virgo, they like, she's talking about me. Well, damn, which, which part? I hope you, I hope you chose the best parts. I hope you chose the things that was going good for a motherfucker. Because if you just sat here and chose to think I was talking about you on all these negative things, well, if the shoe is fitting, I mean, wear it. Don't drown yourself now. Slow down on the bottle. Okay? Slow down, buddy. See, they didn't understand your self-control, your discipline, and they also don't understand your humbleness, okay? Your regalty as well here, Virgo. Very self-sufficient, very self-reliant. One of a kind, okay? But jack of all trades, there are so many layers to you, they don't even know which layer to begin to infiltrate, period, okay? Yeah, they about to be the ex. They stalking, hanging, calling from all these goddamn numbers. They want to know who you date and what you doing. They want you to say it so bad. Okay, they also using all kind of communication, so just keep that in mind. That's why they ain't never got no money, because I'm going to tell you why. They use all their money sp stalking and spying. Stalking and spying. And they over here saying it's everybody else. No, boo-boo. We ain't boo-boo the fool. We know it's you. Okay? We know it's you. Give it up. Give it up already. We know. <laughs> we know. We know they trying to turn everybody against one little simple old person because they know that somebody got what the soul contract is. They know that somebody is big shit. I think I'm big Meech, Larry Hoover, whipping work, hallelujah, one nation under God. Yeah, whatever he said after that, because I'm um, whatever, like it is, backfired on their asses backfired all that watching tiktok on let me find the recipe on tiktok and the internet uh-uh i didn't told y'all i didn't told y'all because that that little pull out game get real weak that push and pull on that real real that's a real that's a that's a tight thin thread right there bird <laughs> it don't work that way okay somebody's birthday could be november 15th i'm also here in december 29th Okay, or October, October 29th. Somebody could like eggs or somebody could be making eggs for breakfast here. I'm also getting that. Okay, somebody could be eating eggs, you know, um, late at night here. Or, you know, that's how somebody get caught. They come in drunk from partying and they cracking eggs or you wake up. It's like, who the fuck making pancakes? Who doing all this shit? Like somebody just doing all kind of stuff. I also feel like somebody trying to test you. Of course, somebody want to know your business. So they like, oh, well, I'm doing this. And look at me sipping rosé and wine with the friends and fellas. Baby, please. If that's what you want to do with your free time, do that. Okay, they, they feel like if they poke and pry at you, then you're going to start spilling the tea. There's no tea for them, Virg. Now they're ashamed. Now they didn't got caught. Now they person see, like, what the fuck you doing with all these eggs? What you doing with all this, this shit on the internet? This uh, stuff on the, in the web browser? It's just so much here, Virgo. Somebody is busted. And let me tell you, they, they thought they got them a winner. They thought they caught them a... Uh, uh, they, ran, they thought they got them a... I don't even know. They thought they got them a big fish. A big shark. Big fish. What me, me what was me saying? Hmm. 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 So they find out somebody get him. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Hit that like button. <laughs> it's the lie for me. Yeah, now they want a cold shoulder. It's so crazy, Virgo. How you really don't hold no weight in their mind, so they say. But everything you say, baby, you tell them one, you say one little thing. You be like, yeah, that man is calling someone else. They got to go home and check that man phone. 
Yeah, that woman has crust in her panties. They got to go home and make sure that they're coochie clean. I can never have crust in my panties because Rara is a hating bitch. No, bitch. You just think low of yourself. Pick your chin up. That motherfucker already weighing you down. Heavy head motherfucker. Okay, I'm just saying. Big backs do crack. Know that. <laughs> Y'all wanted the evilness? I'm going to give it to you. Because I've really been angelic with it all, all this time. But baby, don't forget who you playing with. Okay, and these are not shots sent at anybody. We have no targets. But if the shoe fits, you better wear it. Because I got them eyes. I got that demon laugh. I'm on that demon time. <laughs> Baby, I love it. If it worked for you, it worked for me. Unfortunately for both of us, I know what time I'm on. I know whose hands I'm in. That's God's, okay? Your thoughts of me do not dictate my, my legacy, my prophecy, or who I am. You could think I'm toxic all you want, but shout out to God because he seemed to love me. <laughs> And that's not about me. That's just about everybody because I'm just speaking general to the elite collective. Generally to the elite collective. Yes. Yes, because I'm childish. Immature. Bro, ain't got shit else to do. Uh-huh. Beat me up, Scotty. That's what they say on Terra. That's what they be saying around town. I mean, I don't listen to it. I don't know who they talking about, but since y'all want to come running down and running down with the gossip and the rumors, somebody want things to be heard. I don't know why bitches think they say stuff in a low tone. They ain't being disrespectful. I ain't never like that. Matter of fact, I respect it when you put a little off in it. That's coward activity. Behavior. Okay. But yeah, Bird, your relationship ain't toxic. Might not even have a relationship. And guess what? Since you don't have one, that toxic shit they talking about ain't for you. Might not even be having, you know, no sex. A lot of y'all, Virgo, you could prove that. You could prove that. I don't care who all was egging on your face. Baby, them, that STD report says clean. <laughs> okay. These other folks here, Virgo, they couldn't even tell you the last time they been to the doctor. Around here looking sicker than a motherfucker. But they put that makeup on and that hot. And that's what they're trying to do to you, tear you down. Where are you out with mind games? But I'm telling you, everything that look good ain't good. Somebody depressed in the MF her because that man they thought was so sweet and loving, that man is crazy. That man is delusional. And Virgo, one thing about it, when people call you crazy or whatever, God sure do remove them up out of your life. How they get stuck with them? They like, Virgo ain't even got no kids. Yeah, because God said, ain't nobody cuckoo and crazy. You just finna be getting my baby pregnant. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That's why, Virgo, you know, yo, your kids be taken care of. Okay. Point blank, period. These other folks, they stuck in relationships with folks and they thinking about somebody else. It don't even matter. They can have it all in their hands. Got the world in their hands looking at Scooby-Doo. But Scooby-Doo can't stop looking at you. Now they mad. Oh, I thought I could do with spell work on him and he was going to love me and just forget about that Virgo, baby, please. He didn't got the, the man that made a shrine for Virgo. I mean, if that don't make you want to leave, I don't know what would. If that don't make me feel like I can't, I ain't got shit else to compete with. I don't give a fuck if I got a ring, I got the kid and everything. This man didn't made a whole shrine for this MF and you, I would pack my bags. I wouldn't even say nothing. Dignity, <laughs> I wouldn't say nothing. I would just pack my bags and leave. Because I see you, bitch, you laughing at somebody else that, that spell work has uh, affected their relationship. And somebody was like, I ain't gonna leave. You know, shit, I'm gonna fight it out. I'm gonna thug it out. Yeah, I still think about this person. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure this shit out. What happened? Might be calling. They both was going crazy about each other. But you thought it was funny. And <laughs> you thought it was gay. Matter of fact, you probably shouldn't have even brought this up to this man that you was with because you the reason he got addicted to this motherfucker. The more you addicted to it, the more he is. He didn't fell in love with her. He like, damn, she deserve a good man. <laughs> Ron, take your ass home, please. Okay? 
somebody like shit it's your fault you should have never told me to go over there and start messing with that date the dating that virgo for this setup yeah because they got set up for motherfucking failure whoever this was trying to set you up trying to be sneaky baby then got caught up sneaking where mysterious where they just mad because they can't figure your life out virgo period i feel like you are open book you tell them everything and they couldn't <laughs> they can't figure you out okay shame on you scooby-doo do you need a biscuit or some water what is it gonna take what is it gonna take Y'all all in the van together, rolling around, thinking y'all fighting crime. Baby, please make a documentary for us. Please, please, instead of wasting your money on, on just silently doing this research, can you can you go ahead and invest into a crew with some cameramen and all of that? Because we, we would love to watch the series at this point because it's the, the Lulu and the audacity for me. It's, it's like, that's just what it's giving. It's giving very much so. Charles, sit your eyes down, buddy. Okay? Please, go ahead. Go on the gun and take it over there. Take it around town. Take it around town. You and Paul, you, Jack, Jen, Jessica, Jill, Jennifer, JC, Janice. Everybody, just go have a seat. Martha Stewart, you too. Get your ass, get your ass over there. You want to end up back in that fence, do you? Martha, like, hell no. Snoop. <laughs> Snoop, get over here now. <laughs> Diddy's fucking it up for everybody. Yeah. What the fuck's going on here? Don't anybody find it strange? Just a little bit. Y'all don't find it a little bit strange. They just they were dragging us down real quick. It took them a long time to get Jeffrey, but I kept thinking, shit, they ain't even got Big Donnie Don yet. <laughs> okay. But I kept thinking, all night last night, I said, you know what? If Homeland Security came through thugging and bugging, how the fuck, why ain't nobody going to jail? No, <laughs> something, something is getting a little fishy about the story, okay? Something is just not adding up because why did I just didn't send the feds down? Like, why is Homeland Security? Then y'all keep talking about, no, we, we had some detail. The detail, well, it was detail. That's all you need to know. It was detail. It remind me of a lot of these readers over here always talking about the detail. Baby, that chin just be weighing somebody. Bing, bing, bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. I hope somebody go get that surgery. They keep, they, I love myself. But in the mirror every day, I just wish I could, come, I wish I could take down this chin. And I'm here talking about somebody nose and talking about somebody back and all that and legs and shape. But baby, you hate yourself when you look in the mirror. That's why you've been playing and saving up money and you didn't got caught up. Sold your soul for a little bit, a couple of dollars so you can plan to get that little surgery for that chin or that nose or those eyebrows. I don't know what you hate about yourself. That's why you be so concerned with someone else. It's giving pathetic from a lame bitch. I'm such a loser. Oh. Yeah, we don't give a fuck. Somebody hate to see themselves always talking about somebody else. It's giving, hiding, feeling guilty. Now don't want to show their face. I can't sleep, I can't eat, I can't think without you. All that. Yeah, Virgo. They think you get off of here and just be crying. And, no, Virgo, you showing up. Ain't no coward here, baby. I'm showing up. I thought y'all said we was going to be gone a long time ago. Y'all said it was going to be the winter. Y'all said it was going to be the fall. Y'all said it was going to be December. You said it was going to be the summer. Well, Virgo, it's giving summer in the winter time and winter in the summer. So what's up? I mean, just like make it make sense. We so over it. All they predictions that are never happening. All these predictions that are not happening. Like, please, don't blame me. Blame you. <laughs> blame you. Okay? Because somebody wants your drama. They drama to be your drama. That's just not what it is. That's just not how it's going to be. That's just not what it is. Period. Period. Move on. Let it go. Let it be.
somebody stuck in a it's not even that they stuck in a toxic relationship. Their relationship could be very peaceful, Virgo. But it's so much avoidance. It's so much emptiness. It's so much we ain't the lights ain't on in the home. It's I, I'd rather be on Instagram and, and searching on this page and that page and seeing what this person's saying than, you know, even being in a relationship, even having something stable. Somebody always worried about the ex and this ex. And well, okay, I thought you was over your ex. Why are you looking at their ex-girlfriend? I thought you was over this situation. Why you got so much invested into it? Somebody don't even realize the problems in their own life. And they so busy worried about you. And and what you're doing and what transformation and journey they're trying to teach you to go on. No, learn your own life lessons, sir or mister or missus or whoever. Sir, miss, I don't know what to say about you, okay? But leave it alone. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be somebody born in the um, fall here. I'm also getting something about a Pisces here. Okay. Yeah, somebody can't never find no resolution. That's just what it is. That's what it's given. That's what it's going to be. They always stuck on whatever, what you got going on. And the more that they so repulsed by you, the more this person that's with them is repulsed by their motherfucking ass. They like, ugh, you just turn me off. Turn the lights off. Like, get up. Go cook some eggs. Go do something. Do something productive. Do something instead of fighting and, and always going and see deep thought and think you a motherfucking psychic. You ain't no psychic because if you was a psychic, you would see the red flags that you come with. Okay. Yeah. Somebody like if you was a psychic, you would start valuing who you are and, and taking care of yourself, your home. Okay. Worrying about lifting people up and start, instead of trying to tear people down. If you was a psychic, you would know that eggs cost a whole lot of money and you over here wasting them to goddamn take people out of the world. The world could be ending any day. You don't know whose day it is and you over here wasting your karma, wasting your life, possibly going to hell by trying to kill somebody else. Okay, so I'm just letting you know. Like, somebody here, child, now they're ashamed because that man didn't sit there and told them all of that. And they like, I'm going to tell. And they like, please, no, don't say it. Don't say it, please. Please, I don't want everybody to know. They like, yeah, then take the fucking makeup off. Yeah, do it like that. Do them like that. Take some shit away. Because it could be a man, too, that like to play video games or just always living a double life uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a secret relationship. You didn't call his ass out. Now they over here trying to who run away. Baby, please. No, we both can play that game. Two can play that game. Three can play that game. Four can play that game. But it's always just going to be one winner at the end. And that's the crazy thing. Haven't y'all ever seen Escape Room? How everybody just know they're going to win. Everybody know they're going to win the rat race. But it only be that one that sit back, observe, that think, has experience. They really get through it. And that's exactly what's going on here, Virgo. Somebody here, they're a liar. And you want to know how they're a liar? Because, baby, they got to paint it on. Tell them to show up barefaced. They always tell me, love yourself naked. Bitch, show up naked. Be about what you're talking about. Get on here and show them rolls on your back. Put that two-piece on. Let it all just hang out. Since you like to talk about people and, and do beauty spells and worry about everybody else since you always on somebody page calling them a liar or this a sinister and or a this and a that baby let it all hang out let it all hang out go get that bible mr ea the source go get that bible go look down in, in between your legs and ask god why why did you give me this shrimp dip because you have shrimp activity you do shrimp activity mr I just love shrimp, all kind of shrimp, light shrimp, dark shrimp, fried shrimp, grilled shrimp, crunchy shrimp. Baby, go, go invest in what you love. Go find questions within yourself. Don't come over here with all that hate and negativity, and then when somebody do it back to you, you want to get big, bad, and mad and feel like the world owe you something. Feel like you got to do something mean to somebody. Baby, just go start looking at the mirror. Start there. 
the things you don't like about yourself, guess what? It's doctors for that now. I heard there's enhancement pills. Start at that place. Try getting you some. Release some of that energy. Talk to God about it. Pray to God about it. But get away from me with it. Okay? Because you remember what you said I am. So you ain't got no men. You, I don't know. I don't know what you doing over here. Talking to me, boo boo. Go find you something angelic or demonic to do. I don't know what you gonna do. Cause I would. I just sit over here with God. I ain't on the in between or the crossroad or nothing. Okay. I ain't an angel yet. But if you see me as a demon right now, baby, if I gotta cut up to get away from you, that's what the hell I'm gonna do. Cause I'm gonna tell you who you ain't gonna play with is me. Any day, tomorrow, the next day. Any day. Any day. Because I ain't that one. Baby, I'll be a bum on the street. Still whooping ass talking shit. I'll be a motherfucking uh, pope in the sky. Still talking shit. So you just need to get it right before you come over here playing on my page. Because every day it seems to be the same old thing. Find you something better to do. You say I talk about the same shit. I'm using these same cards. Well, find you something else to do then. Because, bitch, you're the only one that keep on rolling back. Repetitiveness. Repetitiveness in your life. You're the only one that keep on bouncing back. And wondering why you can't bounce back from whatever life and spiritual attacks you have been through. If you don't find you something better to do. Go smoke a blunt. Do something bad. Because at this point, the way the devil using you, you might as well go on down that motherfucking roller coaster. Baby, leave me alone. Find you some holy water. Demon. Satan. And I think that really wraps up the message for today, Virgo. How do you guys feel? <clears throat> they always talking. We gonna give them something to talk about. They always mad for no reason. We gonna make them mad today. That's just how I feel, Virgo. That's just how I feel, and that's just what I have to say. Humbly and peacefully. I'd like another slice. Yeah, Virgo. <laughs> it says, Sun Tzu says, We should be unable to turn natural advantage to account unless we make use of local guides. <laughs> womp womp. Use the knowledge of others. Don't always think you have to go at it alone. Excuse me for the ones in the back. Look. There you go. I know y'all need that breath. <sighs> can't stop breathing my... Can't stop breathing this good Virgo air. <sighs> Give you a little bit more of it. It says, don't always think you have to go at it alone. You don't. You don't have all the answers or information all the time. If you know someone with skills and knowledge that you don't have, ask them, help, ask them for help or advice. They will almost be happy, always almost be happy to share with you what they know. And that's what a lot of people don't know about you, Virgo. Baby, you ain't trying to be stingy, cringy, clingy, clingy, whatever this crap is. You just being you. Like, cool, it's enough for everybody. I don't care if it's if it's a humble pie, a peach pie. Virgo gonna tear it up either way because Virgo has that type of humanity. And that's what goes over a lot of their little bird brains, these low-minded low vibing swear we're living we're we're flying higher than high girl please boy please we see what you are you spend 12 hours in the gym a day still don't mean you know healthy person i know it's some fat people that's healthier than these these gym freaks okay it says sun Tzu said he he will win who prepared him prepared himself waits to take the enemy unprepared Okay, it says preparation is the power. Whatever you do in life, it is essential to make a plan. All plans should begin with the careful assessment of all circumstances involved. The point is, is the information this process will give you. Ask around, get help and from the appropriate people. Arming yourself with, the re with relevant intel will allow you to alter your plans accordingly. And see, Virgo, somebody here was planning accordingly and shit still didn't work. That's how you know it. That's how you know you got that protection on you. It's unable. Because Virgo, your natural advantage uh, towards people is your local guides. It's your hometown. It's your heart. It's your it's you know, people who can see the real deal. People who stand for things. Okay, you can't come over here fucking with this. It is what it is. You might not be my brother, my sister, but we 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 on the same thing. It is what it is. We from the same background. We both did, we both been in the military, or we both did time, or we both had some type of mutual understanding. It is what it is. Period. You get what I'm saying? 
So I feel like, um, also Virgo, another thing they can't figure out is because it seems like you're not prepared, but yet everything they do, you prepare for. Every question you ask, they thought they had an answer for, but they wasn't expecting you to really just come out with it. They wasn't expecting you to really, you know, turn on that natural wit, turn on your, use your advantages. They really wasn't. And something that they normally use as an advantage for other people, I feel like, Virgo, you was able to, it's, it's almost like happening to them. It's almost like, like I said, the title of the name, uh, title of the video here today, Virgo, was about um, somebody never losing sleep over anything that they've ever done to anybody, okay? And then they meet you, Virgo, and it's like, damn, Virgo is almost damn near my karma, but you not. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, you can want to say it's karma. You can want to say somebody toxic, but it's not. Somebody like, shit, I do got fucked up ways. Shit, I did all this shit wrong. Why would I really think that I would get a blessing like Virgo? Why would I think I could take a blessing from this Virgo and still have this beautiful happy ever after? It just don't work that way. So no matter how you look at it, whether it's on you or them, because of course these readings can be vice versa. Energy can flow either way. But no matter how you look at it, it's the same outcome. Somebody did all this shit for you to still get the same outcome. They did all this shit and they would have still had the same outcome and the same life that they live in. Could have been very peaceful, but somebody wanted war and they got exactly what they was looking for. But Virgo, it wasn't with you. It was with them, with a damn self, period. That is the message that I have for you guys today. Do not forget to hit the like button. If you want to personal, use that description box down below. Virgo, if you want to personal, use the description box down below. And I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.